Nice Persona here, and I just got done doing an Etsy video uh, that will probably be posted either before or after this. Just know this is why I still have a makeup thing on. Uh, not that I don't like putting on makeup for video, but um, I just wanted to go over uh, ALA because I got home from ALA a few days ago and I put up two vlogs already about it, but I wanted to do the vlog that kind of talks about my experience at ALA. Um, which was a very, very good experience, honestly. ALA has always and forever been one of my favorite conventions since the first time I went. It, it's always so friendly and loving and everybody's just so happy and nice. And it's sadly enough, not something you get in Vegas a lot. Uh, and when, and even in California, like AX is probably the only other example I have, ALA has been the top tier for me every year and it's always been friendly and everyone's always been really fun to talk to and I, I don't feel outcasted or I don't feel like no one wants you around. Like some, you always get that everywhere you go. Some people are just rude people, obviously, but ALA doesn't have as many and if it does, I never run into them. So, uh, let's go over a few experiences. Um, starting from day one, I had anxiety, but it wasn't about ALA. It was just my body just not being okay. And every time that ha every once in a while that happens where I get a slight kick of depression where I'm like, oh no, I don't look good. I feel off. I feel gross. I feel terrible. Uh, day one was what I thought was day zero. It was actually day one. We were dressed up in Hero Academia. I was Deku. My friends were Todoroki. And we have Aizawa. And it was really fun to see everybody else. We took some pictures. Uh, some people actually went to pictures of us, which I always think is weird when you have 50,000 other people dressed in the same costume and someone comes up to you specifically to ask for a picture. Uh, I know there was one uh, photographer who asked for us and come to find out I looked at his Instagram and he was trying to take it looked like he was taking pictures of black nerds because representation in our community so that was really cool um, it was fun not a lot was going on day one but it was still a lot of fun uh, day two what were we we were doing punk uh, Mario and we didn't really get to stay together because our lovely lovely friend Subaru Kamoe was uh, dressed was um, going to do judging for the ALA talent show which was really fun to watch uh, it wasn't as exciting as it was last year uh, but it was still it was still okay you know so the talent show was fun. I took loads of pictures of people. Uh, I actually felt confident enough to go around and ask people for pictures, which I normally don't feel. A lot of times I feel really like shy about it, but I had a lot of fun asking people for pictures and I got a lot of pictures of people and I got to do some photo shoots and we got a Punk Mario photo shoot done by our really good friend, Ben. And um, that was really, really nice. Uh, the next day we were dressed or uh, I was dressed as Elsa. Um, I didn't get to run into my friend who was dressed as Anna because I was running around crazy trying to help Subaru because she was in masquerade and we were trying to make sure her dress didn't get wet. We were trying to make sure she looked good. We were trying to prep her, make sure everything was going great so nothing went bad for her masquerade experience and we ended up getting so caught up in that. I think a lot of us missed some stuff. Um, uh, <laughs> I. I felt really off as Elsa to start, but I think it was just kind of that feeling of, I'm not correct for this, I don't feel right, I'm not supposed to be in this. And then after a while, as I was starting to think, I should just take this costume off, I don't, I don't feel comforted, um, I don't feel comfortable in it. And uh, I started getting all these nice compliments once my brain started to go into the mode of hatred towards myself. Suddenly, there was all of these people that were like, oh my god, your Elsa's so gorgeous, your makeup's so on point, you look amazing. I had a photographer come up to me and want to take pictures and post it on his Instagram, and it felt really nice, and I, I can only chalk that up to like a blessing from God, because I was, I was so far gone in my own uh, feelings, and then suddenly uh, the world was like, no, you're amazing, and even with Ian, Ian was hello neighbor, and he felt like nobody's paying any attention to my cosplay, it looks trashy, nobody cares, and someone, a very nice girl dressed as Chompette, was like, I really love your hello neighbor costume, right 
after he said he didn't feel good in his costume because he felt like no one noticed who he was or no one really cared and it was one of those like uh, that's God but um, it was wonderful uh, once it started feeling better uh, I switched into pajama Elsa like halfway through the day and I ran into a pajama Tiana so we took pictures together and it was really cool um, and I took a lot of pictures or at least I tried to take a lot of pictures with Elsa uh, of other people and we I did my favorite thing I like to do in LA is go outside along the wall those people who know where photographers are just scouting people and I like to also scout people just to get as many pictures as possible and we did it during the golden hour and oh my god those photos are so pretty and I'm so hyped to finish editing them and posting them and oh my god I'm so excited about that oh ugh. Then, of course, the last day was a uh, normal kind of dress. We were dressed in Persona 5. I had a lot of people compliment me on Tay, which was really, really nice because it was another one I was kind of worried about because it was kind of like, I'm supposed to be this hot, sexy doctor and I don't know if I pull off that well. And a lot of people really liked it, so I was really happy. And we, we went hardcore ribbon hunting that day and Whew. Uh, it was it was intense how many uh, ribbons we were able to get that day. Uh, it was also my friend Tara and Shiloh's first convention and I'm so happy that uh, Tara was like this is so much fun this is the best convention I've had in a while and Shiloh had a lot of fun and she was able to get a free ticket for next year for volunteering and it was really cool and everybody just seemed so excited which was really great. Uh, I unfortunately didn't really get merch. Uh, my Bestie Anthony got me uh, two decals of Bowsette and Bouette and that made me really happy but this con was kind of a, a broke con. We didn't have a lot of money, I barely had any money for food. Uh, I loved going to the food trucks but we weren't really, or at least I wasn't really able to eat at the food trucks very much. Uh, there was uh, chicken, I think it was bomb something that was really, 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 really good to eat at, but I ate there once. We didn't get to go to Okamoto Kitchen, but to be honest, Okamoto Kitchen's lines are getting really long and their food's kind of starting to get expensive. So sadly, as much as I love them and I'm so proud of them and the fact that they have an anime and we've been there from the start eating at their truck, it's getting hard to go now. Um, but we ate at a few places. Uh, I ate inside the convention hall which was a terrible idea because i bought lunch for ian and subaru which was fine but it came up to 43 dollars for some chicken tenders and i was like ah, ha, ha, what <laughs> so that was kind of um ridiculous but you know uh it was fine we needed to eat so i, I didn't mind it as much as i was just like i'm sorry what $43? We got two things of chicken tenders and some, like, carne asada fry. What? So, that hurt a little bit. So I didn't eat. <laughs> I know it's bad to not eat, but uh, sometimes when I'm at con, I just forget to. And then I'm like, everything's expensive, so no thanks. Um, we stayed at Subaru's aunt's house who was really accommodating. She made us dinner almost every night and it was really, really nice. And we drove an hour back and forth to con and that was cool. And we... Had a lot of fun, you know, doing that, and it was it was just it's really cool. So um, I am I am excited because I want to show you guys the ribbons that we collected. Um, I'm probably not gonna go through every one because I got a lot, but I just want to unravel it to show you because I'm proud. These are the ribbons that we that I got or earned at ALA. I didn't count them. I have no idea how many ribbons I have. I might lay them out on the floor to show you because it's a lot. I'm still unraveling. <laughs> so this is an ALA tradition every year to collect as many ribbons as possible um, throughout the convention. Oh, we finally for once finished the Pokemon challenge because we try to do it every year and we could never finish it but this year we did and I'm so happy because me and Ian were like so psyched to do it and we finished it and uh, we got way more ribbons than we expected we would and I'm, I'm just super hyped and I had I had to end my um, ribbons with 
this beautiful ribbon that says Excelsior because of Stan Lee, in honor of Stan Lee because that was, that was a big hit for me when that happened. And I know it was a big hit for a lot of people, but I've never cried for celebrity death because I'm just not attached to celebrities because I don't know them. But um, when Stan Lee passed, I, it was a few days after my birthday and I was devastated. So I feel like that was a good way to end ALA and I got it from the Doctor Strange cosplayer who normally goes to Utah and I had mentioned how I liked when he hosts events at Utah and he gave me that and I almost started crying again and yeah so this is our this is the the accomplishment because I couldn't buy anything I'm just like I will collect as many ribbons as possible is my goal and so ALA overall was a blast it was so much fun and it's been a while since I've been able to go to a con and just feel so inspired by everything and I finally got to meet some cosplayers that I really wanted to meet and I'm really happy about that and I, I was able to take selfies and stuff and I mean it was just it was so much fun and it's been such a long time since I felt that joy from going to a convention and god it was amazing so I am so excited and inspired for the next con um, but yeah that was the overall experience for ALA and I'm so hype so hyped for next year and I cannot wait for next year to come again. Like, ugh, I don't wanna wait. But yeah, what else can I say? There was a lot of fun times, there were a lot of happy times. Uh, I had a lot of stressful moments just because when things aren't quite working out, like going as according, according to plan, I get really flustered and stressed and that's a part of OCD and I, I'm working through it but it was still a blast, so it was so much fun, and I'm so proud of myself that I could work this hard, and next year, next year, I'm making ribbons, and I'm thinking about making something for Bowser, maybe making my Empress Bowser cosplay I wanted to make for so long, and having people submit to me, and then they get a ribbon. So, uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens, I don't know yet, uh, I'm just excited. Um, Ian was even super inspired, and it's rare to see him get so inspired for cosplay. So I was really happy that he could have a blast too, and everyone seemed to have a lot of fun. And shout out to my girl Subaru, who won uh, most dramatic cosplay at the masquerade, and she was so proud of herself, and I'm proud of her. And I took some gorgeous pictures of her Anthe, and I have posted them already and showed her off. And when we went outside, I kind of did like, uh, oh look, have you seen my? Friend? friend Anthony she's beautiful hey have you seen my friend and kind of walked her around and I've never been like so proud of someone before well I have but I was just really really proud of her so anyway thank you guys so much for watching um let me know if you went to ALA what was your ALA experience how was it what did you what was your favorite part of ALA like did was there a certain ribbon that you won that you really enjoyed was there a certain you know person you met that you didn't think you'd get to meet like let me know how your experience was and I'd love to have a conversation with you uh, in the meantime if you like this video like this video if you like me subscribe and just remember that you are loved you are worthy and you are worth every minute minute of every day and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!